This video explains sample exam 2, question 1. So for question 1, we have a movie theater where it can handle up to 8,000 patrons per week. And here is the demand curve. The demand is equal to 13,000 minus 1,200 times price. And then in addition to selling the tickets, movie theater also sells a package of food items. And overall, 25% of those who buy a movie ticket also buy the food package. The movie theater keeps 50% of the ticket revenues, well, 100% of the revenue from the food package. So in this table, I have the items, the variable costs for ticket and food package, the current price levels, and the percentage of revenue kept by the theater. And the three questions ask you for calculating the theater's total profit at the current price levels. And what if the theater maximizes the profit from ticket sales alone? What is that optimal ticket price? And if the movie theater maximizes the total profit from ticket and food package sales, what is the optimal ticket price? What is the total profit? And what is the percentage increase in profits comparing to the current price levels? Next, let's look at the data. The data is pretty straightforward. We have tickets and food packages and their variable cost structure current price levels, and the percentage of revenue kept by theater. And when you think about this problem, it's actually fairly similar. It's actually fairly similar to the razors and blades example we have discussed in the course lecture. So to do this calculation, first we're going to calculate the demand based on the demand function. So the demand is equal to 13,000 minus 1,200 times the ticket price and enter so that format is not what we want and let's uh, change this to general so that's the demand level and the demand for full package as described in the question is 25 percent of the patrons who buy the movie tickets would also buy the full package so that's equal to the demand for the tickets times 25%, so 0.25, and enter. So that's the demand level for tickets and food packages. Now let's calculate the profit. So the profit from the ticket is equal to, keep in mind that the theater only keeps 50% of the revenue. Let's calculate the revenue part first and then the profit. So the revenue is equal to the ticket price times the demand. And it only keeps 50% of it, so times this 50%. And then we deduct the total cost. That will be the variable cost times the demand. Notice that the cost part is zero for movie tickets. But we just put in the formula there, nevertheless, and then enter. And the reason why we put the cost item there is because now this formula can be copied with no problems. So let's take a look. For food package, what we have is the price times the demand in F4 and times the percentage kept by theater is 100%, and then minus C4, that's the unit cost, times the demand, so that's the total cost. Now we have the profit from ticket sales and the profit from the food package. And now let's calculate the total profit. It's simply equal to the sum of these two profits and close the parenthesis and enter. Okay, so for question A, in the current practice, the ticket price is $10 and the total profit is $6,500.
Okay. So question B asks you to optimize the current price based on the profit from ticket sales alone. So we'll go to data solver. The objective is to maximize this profit from ticket sales. So that's in cell G3 by changing the variable sales of price. And in this context, because it's such a simple problem to solve, you don't even need to set the upper boundaries. Um, so there's no constraints to be set. And the solving method we choose is GRG nonlinear and click solve. So it solves almost instantly. Click OK. Now we have a new profit. So as you can see here in this solution, the optimal price is $5.42 and the total profit is so the total profit is equal to this number and now let's copy this control C and paste it here right click and paste value so it's $27,354 so for part C, we're going to maximize this total profit by setting the ticket price. Now we're going to use solver again. So go to data, solver, and now our objective is changed to this number in cell C6. And again, by changing the variable cells here in D3, the current price, and click solve, and Converged, OK. So now we have a ticket price of $3.92. And the total profit is Control C, right click, paste value only, is $28,000. And Percy also asks for the percentage increase in profit comparing to the current price levels. So percentage profit increase C versus A, that will be equal to parenthesis, this profit minus the total profit, parenthesis, divided by the current profit, and enter. Change this to percentage. That's an increase of 342% because the current ticket price level is way too high. Now, the problem with the current solution is that we know the theater can only handle 8,000 patrons, given what the question has told us. So the solution here at this level, the problem is we are at such a low price level that we have too much demand and the movie theater was already hitting the capacity. Now we have to resolve that. Fortunately in Solver, we will be able to handle it by setting a constraint on the demand. So here's how we revise the solution from this to consider the constraint of the theater at 8,000 seats. Now click on Solver. So this is what we had before. And all we need to do is to add an additional constraint where the demand for total ticket sales cannot be more than 8,000. And click OK. Now if we solve this, click Solve. So it's done. And click OK. So now you see that the new demand is constrained at 8,000 and the total profit, let's do a control C and right click here, paste the number and change this to dollar values. So with this number, the percentage increase in profit is equal to parenthesis, this minus the condition in A, and then divided by the condition in A, and enter. 
and this to percentage, highlight this. So ultimately, our answers to this question should be the answers that has considered the total constraint. And also related, you can see that the optimal price is $4.17 instead of $3.92 after we consider the seating constraint in the movie theater. That concludes this video.